This is the time I worked fast food. The place is called, uh, Cardi's, which is also called Harold's Jr. on the West Coast. But we'll just call it the chum bucket. The day of the interview, I went in wearing new shoes and pants. I didn't wear a shirt because they told me they were going to give me one. I even brought my resume in a folder. Of course, the manager hired me without looking at it. I thought she was going to, like, look through it and nitpick it, bruh. Oh, it looks like you don't have a degree in culinary arts, so we can't hire you. But no. She just asked for my social security and gave me a hat, bruh. I remember my first day behind the counter after making me sign a document saying i wasn't allowed to sue if i got my hand deep fried of course but because this was my first legal job i was really excited i remember i couldn't even stop smiling quit showing them teeth son let me see what them fresh hands do oh uh, okay my job was to make burgers as it said on the screen and do dishes when i got free and in the beginning i did everything perfectly then after the first week i started getting sloppy luckily when i was hired there were a bunch of other kids my age so i got to learn from them so after they left the job i I would try to make friends with the new employees. I remember this one night after closing. We were cleaning up like we usually do. Like every night we had to like sweep, mop, throw away trash, put the food back in the freezer, whatever. Well, it was this guy's first day. And when he went to grab the container of frozen meat patties, he didn't grab the whole thing. So halfway to the freezer, the container slipped and fell, scattering the frozen patties across the floor, bruh. Since we had already swept the floor and because of the three minute rule, we picked up the patties and they were served the very next day. I'm just kidding. We quickly collected the patties and I told him to throw them in the last garbage bag and I quickly went and threw out the trash so the manager didn't find out. Actually come to think of it he did get fired later and you know I think we should have told her so she could have write down that 50 patties had to be thrown out because as it stood it seemed like there was a patty thief among us but it's fine they had cameras everywhere so I'm sure they could review the footage from five years ago to see two underpaid employees on their knees for meat. If you think that's crazy just wait till I tell you about the dead rat family we found but first the onion incident. Basically, we had this manager who really hated onions. Like she would vomit if she even smelled onions, which was really convenient for this line of work, of course. Anyways, an employee dared me to freeze an onion in the middle of an ice cube and leave it somewhere for her. This was also towards the end of my nine months of working there, so this would be like my beyond the grave troll. Oh, and I also recorded the whole incident. <laughs> So I started with a container used to store extra ham and filled it with steaming hot water so that it would freeze faster. Then I dropped in the onion and hid it under a basket. I checked it the next day and it was still there. So I took it out and flipped it so that it would be fully encased in ice and left it again. Onion time! Oh shoot. The next day I checked it and it had frozen well, but I couldn't get the ice cube out of the container. <laughs> So I just hit it with the rest of the containers, with the onion still in there. It's that one. They're all flipped upside down, so you can't tell until you pull it out. I left before I could see the reaction, but it probably went something like this. Hi, I'm the manager that hates onions. Let's get a container to store ham. Oh no, there's only one left. Wait, is it frozen solid? Hot water running sound. Is that an onion? Okay, now for the dead rat story. Once, me and an employee were cleaning, and while sweeping under a shelf, we found a glue trap. That's not a big deal, it was the chum bucket. There were traps everywhere. I mean, come on. The job itself was a trap. But when we pulled the glue trap out, there was a mother rat. Oh yeah, and also two baby rats stuck behind her. Like this. Now the obvious option would be to throw it out, right? Well, a small problem with that. Their feet were still wiggling. They were alive! So like a normal person, he tried to free them from the glue trap. But that would squeeze and kill them. So he just slid the glue trap back into its place. After this event, the guy actively searched for other glue traps around the store. He did find another one and this time I got it on camera. Please don't! But I don't think I can show it because it might get me sued, bruh. But if you ever meet me in person, I can show you the video. Anyways, it was just one mouse this time. So of course, he chased the manager around the parking lot with it, eventually throwing it in the trash. And you know what they say, people brave enough to touch mice don't change their gloves very often. So yeah, someone out there could have easily eaten a Chuck E. Cheese rat meal without knowing. But that's the chum bucket for you. I also have a bunch of other chum bucket stories, so I might make a part two. Okay, bye.